So you want to get a VPN on Windows 11. I think that is an amazing thing and truthfully a VPN is something you probably should have if you do care about security or if you just want to watch content on Netflix from another country. And a VPN will allow you to get around that and allow you to watch content like you're in Europe or like you're in Japan or like you're in the United States. It just depends on where you are in the world and where you want to watch content and a VPN will allow you to kind of circumvent that and get that content on Netflix. It will also though do things like hide your IP address which up here at the top you can see it's blacked out except for 104 and point eight at the end. That's my real IP address and we'll come back here later to show you that in fact this has now been blocked and is changed and protected, right? So as you can see it says unprotected over here. It will say protected once we're done later on. So nevertheless, we're going to be using NordVPN today on Windows 11. NordVPN is an amazing VPN that I actually use myself and you can find them at the first link in the description down below. That is an affiliate link, and if you do come here and make a purchase, it does help us at no additional cost to you, but guess what? I do use NordVPN. I use them every single day and have used them for over three years now. They are a truly amazing VPN, and I wouldn't recommend anyone else. I have no issues with them, and they are truly incredible and very easy to use. You can also use them on your phone, everything, using this one subscription. So you can see some of the perks down here that they have over others, and they are very, very fast. That is one thing I have noticed, but nonetheless, just go ahead and click get NordVPN plus gift here, or just click NordVPN there. Now I'm gonna be using a one month plan for this simply because I already have a yearly subscription to NordVPN and don't need another one. So just a month here. I'm also going to remove the NordPass Premium. That's their password manager. You can get that severely discounted if you do the two year plan. But again, I'm doing the one month because I've already got an account. Let's go ahead, continue to payment here. It's then gonna walk us through the rest of the process. So you're sure you don't want that awesome deal. And we're gonna go ahead, enter in our payment information, get this purchased, and I'll meet you on what I call the landing page or the post checkout page. So once your payment is complete, you wanna go ahead and click activate account. And they're gonna need to confirm your email address here. I'm going to go ahead, do that. You also need to create a password to log into your account. Finally, you will land on a page where you can start the downloading. Now, as you can see, there is download apps here for mobile, and I do recommend getting this on mobile because it's very, very good, but there's also just this download button. When you click on that, it's going to download NordVPN for Windows 11. We can then minimize our browser, and we're going to be able to find that in our downloads folder. To get to that, just click on the little folder icon in the bottom of your screen, and then click on downloads on the left-hand side. There is NordVPN. VPN setup, double click on it, and now it's going to open up the installer for NordVPN. You will need to confirm that you want to install this program. Yes, it's 100% safe to do that, so you're good to go. Then go ahead and click next, and it's going to install it. And then once it installs, it's going to ask you if you want to create shortcuts. You do want to do that, at least I would. Click install one more time. It's going to now install like some of the network dependencies and things that it needs in order to make sure everything works great on Windows 11. Click finish, and you're done. It's that simple to get this up and running. Now you will need to log into your account. When we do click log in, it is going to take us to where we can, well, log in to NordVPN. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. And then after you log in, you're going to need to confirm that you want to use this in the app by clicking up here at the top and clicking open. When you do that, it's going to take it back over here to NordVPN. By the way, that whole open sequence might not work the same way if you're on Google Chrome, just so you know. But nevertheless, here we are. We are in NordVPN, and you've installed a VPN on Windows 11. You can select where you want your VPN to be from. For example, if you wanted to be from the United States, you could do that by scrolling down here, clicking on United States, and now it's connecting you to a server in the United States. If you want more specifics, you can click around and connect to specific areas, or what's cool is you can scroll over here, and let's say you want to see, uh, go here. It's going to be um, Norway. Click on that, and boom, now it's like we're connecting from Norway instead of the United States, even though I am in the United States. If we go back to our browser here and go back to NordVPN, we are now safe, and I don't have to black out my IP address anymore because my IP address is from Norway, right? That's where it's from. So if we come over here, boom, we are protected from Norway. Awesome stuff. We come over here. Let's say we want to be from, uh, I don't know, right down here in India. Boom. Connect to India. Bam. We're now going through India instead of the United States. And we'll actually see up here at the top, the IP address changes because we're now on a completely different server, giving us a completely different IP address. And you can actually, like I said, go to anywhere in the world and do this. And it's absolutely incredible. You can use it to get around Netflix content blockers and all sorts of stuff, but you now have a VPN on Windows 11. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and be sure to check out this video on your screen right now if you want to remove security from your computer by turning off Windows Defender. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but you all want to know how, and that's how.